first. There is no doubt the National Guard has been a big help on the border, but does the benefit justify the cost? A new report from the Government Accountability Office aims to answer that very question. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. And I'm Guy Atchley. In recent years, the federal government has spent hundreds of millions of dollars deploying thousands of troops to the southwest border. This year, 1,200 National Guard troops along the line will be reduced to 300. How have they helped secure our country? Have these missions been a success? Tonight, we dive into a new government report detailing the benefits, challenges, and cost to you, the taxpayer. In and out on your side, Border Watch tonight, Kevin Keenan breaks down the report and asks the governor to respond. In recent missions spanning nearly four years, thousands of National Guard troops have patrolled the border in states like Arizona. The new federal report finds those men and women have helped Border Patrol while it hires and trains the number of agents it needs. Another benefit, those troops gained experience in the desert environment they could be deployed to overseas. Their work has also made the border a safer place. The report is based on feedback from agencies like the Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. They also found challenges placing members of the military along the border. Troops, for example, cannot make arrests, limiting what they can do. Stationing members at the border makes it difficult for the Guard to meet other duties like helping law enforcement elsewhere. Deploying people to the border, it says, has also made it harder to recruit new people. Then there's the price tag. The report states the two major missions cost taxpayers more than $1 billion. Certainly it's costly. That's one issue. But uh, I'd point out that uh, there's a significant cost to not having the border secured as well. Matthew Benson is a spokesman for Governor Jan Brewer, who's long said troops need to play a role along Arizona's border. The governor's intent has, has always been that National Guard would be uh, a bridge, if you will, until we get... Uh, a fence constructed uh, of some size, uh, enough technology on the border, and enough border patrol. Uh, basically, National Guard are there to keep a lid on things uh, until we get uh, a more secure situation at the border. The governor's office says it welcomes this report and the analysis and isn't surprised by the findings. If you'd like to read the report yourself or a summary, head to our website, kega9.com. Kevin, how far along is Border Patrol in hiring and training all these people uh, that it wants along the border? Yeah, the Border Patrol here in the Tucson region says that it has and is training all the staff that it needs with no job openings. Right now, 4,200 people work in our region. We also called the national office to see if that's the case elsewhere along the border, but didn't get an answer. All right, Kevin, thanks.